With each snip of her scissors, artist Melissa Latimer makes an ordinary metal disc one step closer to becoming a work of art. Well, I cut them first into four slits and then bend them. Mel got those metalworking skills by working on herself after losing her leg to cancer as a teenager. My girly leg, that's what I call them. I started airbrush and then acrylic and seal it. Maybe some Sharpie on there. But these days, the only thing Mel puts on her leg is duct tape. This part would completely fall apart and then I wouldn't be able to work or do anything. Still, after nine years, even a metal master like Mel can only go so far. Just getting up and like, oh, it's today gonna be like, you know, just not knowing, um, having duct tape in my purse. Like, <laughs> But then Mel and her friends set up a GoFundMe page, raising $16,000 in 19 days, most of it in the first 12 hours. I looked at it and I was in shock. It'll give me a piece of me back. Even though I'm missing a limb, I'm, I'm whole if I get to walk out of here with the test leg today. A few hours later, Mel emerges with a new test leg and a new task. They told me I have to go buy a new, new pair of shoes because all my shoes are so mangled from this one and twisted. So shoe shopping per doctor's orders. Then Mel can finally ditch the duct tape and get back to making metal art for her online backers. It's going to be very emotional. Every step that I do in a piece uh, is going to be all love and emotion and and gratitude. For more information on Mel's metal flowers, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. With a very appreciative artist, JT Street, Fox News at 9.